At Mount Erie, well, thank you for worshiping with us. We invite you to join us each week for our worship experience Sundays at 7.30 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. and Wednesday evenings at 6.30 p.m. Enjoy the service. On behalf of the Kingdom Women's Conference Health and Wellness Day Committee, we extend our sincere gratitude for your support. We appreciate your attendance and pray you are blessed by the event. Tickets are still available for the Kingdom Women's Conference Luncheon, but move quickly because tickets are going fast. Dr. Lisa Bowens, Associate Professor of New Testament at Princeton Theological Seminary, will join us as our luncheon speaker on Saturday, April 27th at the Hilton City Avenue at 12 p.m. Sunday, April 28th, we welcome Mother Sharon Blevins, Jurisdictional Supervisor of the Ohio North First Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction at the 1045 a.m. official day service. You do not want to miss a single event. We will see you there. Registration is still open for the Community Baby Shower on Saturday, April 20th at 12 p.m. The Christian Women's Council are diligently organizing and preparing for this event tailored to expected mothers and mothers with children ages two and under. To register, please scan the QR code or contact the church office for additional information. The Pennsylvania Koinea Jurisdiction Women's Department presents We Are Better Together, Women of God Going Forth in Determination, Thursday, April 18th and Friday, April 19th at 7 p.m. and Saturday, April 20th at 10 a.m. All are welcome because we are better together. Attention all individuals interested in street ministry and witnessing. The Koyania Jurisdiction Outreach Department is excited to announce upcoming sessions covering essential topics such as spiritual warfare, consecration, prayer, effective utilization of Bible knowledge, opening and closing witnessing, and much more. To sign up or for additional details, please reach out to the church office. Join us in spreading the light of faith and compassion in our community. Join us for a special Millennials in May service on Wednesday, May 8th at 6.30 p.m. Calling all Millennials, Gen Zs, and Alphas to gather together for an evening of worship. Let's unite and fellowship and worship our great God. Invite a friend or two. Keep your eyes and ears open for these upcoming events. We will continue to stream live on Wednesday evenings and Sunday mornings via YouTube and Facebook Live. Contributions may be made via the church website, www.mountarykojic.com, via text by texting Mount A to 41444 and during 7.30 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. We thank you for your continued support of the ministry. And remember, there is no place like this place anywhere near this place. So this must be the place because the Lord is in this place. baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Reading from St. Matthew 28, 18 through 19. Thank you. Give them praise. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, hey, let's glory. stay in that same vein. He's worthy to be praised. Can you open up your mouth and give God the praise that he's due on your own? Come on, with your own mouth. God, we bless you. God, we praise you. We lift your name. You're good. Has he been good to anybody this this week has he been good to anybody this week has he done anything for you has he woke you up every single morning has he given you
you breath in your lungs every single day. You're good. Tell the Father, you're good. You're a good Savior. You're a wonderful Redeemer. You're a holy God. Come on now, put your hands together. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy endureth forever. Come on, everybody say it. Lord, you and your mercy endureth Come on, Lord, you are good, yeah. People from every nation, from generation to generation, we worship. from every nation from generation we worship you hallelujah we worship for who you are yes we worship you
He's a wonderful God. Hallelujah. And in that same vein, the hymn of the morning is Blessed Assurance. You'll find the hymn in your program and on the screens. Let's lift our voices and sing together. Blessed assurance. Isn't that wonderful? You have the blessed assurance. Not just assurance, but the blessed assurance. To God be all the glory. To God be all the praise. To God be all the honor. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now we're going to have our invocation prayer by our own deacon, Ezra Norwood. Amen. 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 Good morning, church. Good morning. Let us bow in prayer. Father, I scratch my hand today. No other help I know. If thou withdraw thyself from me, oh, where shall I go? Father, we come this morning thanking you again for the many blessings that thou hast stowed upon. We thank you, Lord, for touching us. Having us to rise this morning, see another beautiful day. We thank you, our Father, for strength. We thank you that we was able to 
praise your name. Praise your name. Just call out your name. Go Jesus. Jesus. Well, Almighty God, we serve. Yes, Lord. Lord, you've been good to us. So good. You watched over us last night as we slumbered and slept. You gave us to get up, dress ourselves. Lord, we had food to eat. We could move around and see our family. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for all the many blessings that thou hast stole upon us. We ask our Father to bless this church family. Yes. Lord, throw your arms around them. Yes. Lord, give us more love toward one another. Yes. Give us that love that runs from heart to heart, yes. extend to breath to breath. We need that love because this world don't have no love. Lord, we need you to just touch us with that love that we need to help our young people, help our older people to pray and mentor the young people, Lord. Help them to learn you. You've been so good to us. Lord, you just keep us day by day as we live in this world. We can't make it without you. Lord, we ask thy blessing upon our leaders. Bless our founder and his wife, mother, winner from ours, continue to strengthen and keep her in the name of Jesus. Lord, bless the pastor, the leader. The Lord, bless his wife, strengthen them. Keep on teaching us, preaching our word to us, leading us and guiding us through this life. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We praise, praise your holy name. Glory, hallelujah to your name. Your name, Jesus, is worthy to be praised. Have mercy upon us, our Father. Bless us, Lord. Because we serve a risen Savior. He is in this world today. I know that he is living no matter what man may say. I can see his hands of mercy. I can hear his voice of cheer. And just the time I need him, he always needs. He lives. Yes, my Jesus lives. Because he walks with me and he talks with me along like narrow way. He lives. Yes, my Jesus lives. Salvation to him for. You ask me how. I know he lives. He lives within my heart. And I'm so glad I have a Savior that lives deep down in my soul. Anytime I need him, all I have to do is just call on him. I'll just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for just keeping me. Thank you, Lord, for my mind. Thank you, Lord, that I'm able here to stand and call out your name. Glory, hallelujah to your name. We love you. We praise you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is our prayer, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Church, say yes. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Good morning. Good morning. We are now preparing for the affirmation of faith. Amen. We affirm our faith in the Bible. We believe in our to be inspired and only the crowd who preach the word of God. We affirm our faith in God. We believe that there is only one God who turned into the three persons. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. We affirm our faith in the blessed hope. We affirm our faith in repentance and salvation. We believe that the only means of being cleansed from sin is through repentance and faith in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We believe that the generation of the Holy Ghost is absolutely essential for our salvation. 
we affirm our faith in Jesus Christ. We believe that the bread of the word of Christ on the cross provides healing for the human body and access to the in prayer. We affirm our faith in the Holy Ghost. We believe that the baptism of the Holy Spirit according to Acts 2-4 is given to the believers of Christ. We affirm our faith in sanctification. Altogether, we believe in the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit by whose indwelling a Christian is able to live holy and separated life in this present world. Amen. video and we want to have our announcements our video announcements at this time are we ready video department you ready it's announcement time amen hey what's new at mount erie well thank you for worshiping with us we invite you to join us each week for our worship experience sundays at 7 30 a.m and 10 45 a.m and wednesday evenings at 6 30 p.m enjoy the service on behalf of the kingdom women's conference health and wellness day committee we extend our sincere gratitude for your support we appreciate your attendance and pray you are blessed by the event tickets are still available for the kingdom women's conference luncheon but move quickly because tickets are going fast dr lisa bowens associate professor of new testament at princeton theological seminary will join us as our luncheon speaker on Saturday, April 27th at the Hilton City Avenue at 12 p.m. Sunday, April 28th, we welcome Mother Sharon Blevins, Jurisdictional Supervisor of the Ohio North First Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction at the 1045 a.m. official day service. You do not want to miss a single event. We will see you there. Registration is still open for the Community Baby Shower on Saturday, April 20th at 12 p.m. The Christian Women's Council are diligently organizing and preparing for this event tailored to expected mothers and mothers with children ages 2 and under. To register, please scan the QR code or contact the church office for additional information. The Pennsylvania Koinea Jurisdiction Women's Department presents We Are Better Together, Women of God Going Forth in Determination, Thursday, April 18th, and Friday, April 19th at 7 p.m., and Saturday, April 20th at 10 a.m. All are welcome because we are better together. Attention all individuals interested in street ministry and witnessing. The Koyania Jurisdiction Outreach Department is excited to announce upcoming sessions covering essential topics such as spiritual warfare, consecration, prayer, effective utilization of Bible knowledge, opening and closing witnessing, and much more. To sign up or for additional details, please reach out to the church office. Office. Join us in spreading the light of faith and compassion in our community. Join us for a special Millennials in May service on Wednesday, May 8th at 6.30 p.m. Calling all Millennials, Gen Zs, and Alphas to gather together for an evening of worship. Let's unite in fellowship and worship our great God. Invite a friend or two. Keep your eyes and ears open for these upcoming events. We will continue 
to stream live on Wednesday evenings and Sunday mornings via YouTube and Facebook Live. Contributions may be made via the church website, www.mountairikojic.com. Via text by texting Mount A to 41444 and during 7.30 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. We thank you for your continued support of the ministry. And remember, there is no place like this place anywhere near this place. So this must be the place because the Lord is in this place.
I love you because you first loved me and you pitied every groan. Long as I live while trouble rise, I'll hasten to his throne.
Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you for the inspired words song. I love the Lord. And we thank you that you have given us grace to respond to the love that you initiated because you first loved us. Even before the foundation of the world, you predestinated us in Jesus Christ. We thank you for that tenacious love because we need it more now than ever before. We don't know what the future holds. We do know that there are wars and rumors of wars. Nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Earthquakes, eclipses, pestilences neighbor against neither, father against son, mothers against daughters, families ripped apart. Even now the nation is on edge as Iran has already sent over 300 drones and missiles against Israel. Yet we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. So God, may you surround us with your strong arms of protection. Renew our strength. Restore our joy. Give us grace to continue to lift our eyes unto the hills from whence cometh our help. We can make it if you help us. We are overcomers if you help us. We are victorious if you help us. Thank you for help. We thank you for help the midst of every trouble, every storm. We thank you for help. And we feel your help this morning. And we give you the praise. Come on, let's praise God for help. We thank you for help. We give you glory for your help. Help us, Lord. Help us. We need your help. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give the Lord another hand clap. Everybody, praise the name of the Lord. We certainly thank God for our beloved prelate, Bishop Morris, this morning. God bless you, Bishop Morris. He's been on the move, was in Memphis on this past week at our world headquarters. And the Lord has blessed us. And we're thankful to God for his sufficient grace and his eternal mercies. You may be seated. The Lord bless our first lady. Bless you, Dr. Felton, and this Kingdom Women's Conference, our second Sunday team, Elder Wilma Swigard, and certainly Chaplain Richardson. The 139th Psalm, verses 7 through 10. The second chapter of the book, verses 3. Psalm 139, the seventh through the verses, the King James Version, shall I go from spirit, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning, well, in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there, thy hand leads, thy right hand, chapter 2, verses 3 and 4, escape, if we neglect so great salvation. 
that the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. God also bearing them witness both with signs and wonders and with divers miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Let us reason together from this subject the inescapable reality inescapable reality will you repeat that after me the inescapable reality of God thanks be to God for this great hymn of our Judeo-Christian written a thousand years before the birth of Christ by the sweet Israel, King David. David had written a psalm earlier in his life at a time when he sought to be reconnected with the fellowship of God. This connection had been broken because of David's departure from God's when we with our mobile devices, I had an iPhone to move from one place to another, and we tried to send a text or email or make a Wi-Fi call, and nothing happened. We checked the settings and noted that is a statement of two Those two words are not communication. Whenever you move from one space to the other, you're in a different domain. And because of that, every location has its own space and apparatus. You may have been connected previously, but when you go to the next location, if you don't connect with their network, you will find that you can't get your message through. Someone said, yes, I feel as close to God as I used to be. And the response was, yes. It wasn't God that moved, but it was you that moved. That's right. Even when you change locations physically, emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, you need to check your connections. Sometimes in order to establish that connection, you have to turn your device off altogether and then reboot it or reset it just to make connection with the satellite that provides your internet capability. David had moved. At one time, he was in the place where he was literally surrounded, saturated, empowered with the presence of God, but because he moved away from God. He could not find that wireless connection. For the old saint said that there's a telephone in your bosom. And because God put it there, he meant for you to maintain constant contact with him. 
In Psalm 51, David admits to God that connection has been lost and I want it back. And he did what was necessary to reconnect. He shut down everything. He threw everything at God's feet at the altar. He sought the Lord to create in me a clean heart. Renew within me a right spirit. He asked God to blot out his transgressions, to remove them as far as the east is from the west. And then he made a profound and bold statement, take not your Holy Spirit from me. Whatever it takes, God, I just don't want to lose my connection. I want to be able to feel your presence, to sense your love. I want to know that God is with me and over me and all around me and through me. Don't take your spirit away from me. Yes, that is what keeps you connected with God. God is a spirit. And they that worship him, that serve him, that minister for him, uh, must do so in spirit and in truth. Some years, of course, had passed between Psalm 51 and Psalm 139, and we find a radically different question coming from the psalmist. For in this psalm, he lifts up the question that many people have internalized. He prefaces the question by stating that God knows him better than he knows himself. He says in Psalm 139 verse 1, O Lord, you have searched me. Have you ever heard of the stop and frisk? You don't have to say man to that, just say hmm. Well, the Lord doesn't have to stop you to frisk you. He already knows what you're carrying. He knows what's on your heart, what's in your mind. And that is why David seems to be raising an issue with God because you don't allow me to have the knowledge about me that you have. I don't even know me like you know me. I don't know how many hairs on my head. I don't even know my origins. I don't even remember my own conception or birth or infancy. I don't even know how many times along the way when I couldn't make it, you just picked me up and carried me. I don't even remember how many times I've been in danger and you sent the unnamed bullet in a different direction or the drunken driver down another street. I don't know me like you know me because you have searched me and you know me. It is as though David seeks an introduction to himself. I really would like to know who I am. I'd like to know my destiny, my calling. I'd like to discover my strength and possibilities. But I'll never know who I am until I know who you are. And once I know who you are, then you can tell me who I am. I don't even know my name until you tell me what my name is. I know what mama said and I know what daddy said, but they didn't breathe breath into my nostrils. They didn't wake me up this morning. They didn't start me on my way. I want to know you so you can tell me who I am. You understand God holds the secret to your destiny. 
He knows the depth of your spiritual promise. You remember this kind of struggle? It is the same struggle that Jacob had. Jacob did not know himself and did not yet know God. He did not realize that there was a calling upon his life. He didn't know that God had even skipped a generation just to bring the promises to bear upon his watch. God called Abram and God used Isaac but not the way he used Jacob. You understand that God made a covenant with Abram, a covenant so strong that it expanded Abram beyond his limitation. It took him from being a fatherless man to being the father of generations from Abram to Abraham God took a man that seemed to have no destiny or future who used to not only serve idol gods but manufacture them but somehow he met God when he met God God told him you are no longer Abram you are now Abraham, your wife is no longer Sarai, she's Sarah. You are no longer barren or a heathen who makes idol gods. I have my eyes on you before I made the world. I know you're the chief sinner in town, but I still love you. I still want you. I still need you. I'm still going to use you. I have called you and in your seed shall all families of the earth be blessed. I may not say much about it through your son Isaac but on your grandson I'm going to wrestle with him I know he doesn't know me like you know me he doesn't serve me like you serve me he doesn't even worship me like you worship me yet but I'm going to wrestle with him until he comes to the reality of the existence of God he's going to run from me he's going to run from home but he's going to bump right straight into God Look at Jacob running from God. He has deceived his own father. He's stolen his brother's birthright. His brother's seeking him to kill him. He's on the run and tired from his journey. He finds a little place called Luz. But when he laid his head on a pillar that night to try to grab a fusees, God showed up. And when God showed up, he got all in his mind, got all in his past, got all in his future, showed him a ladder that reaches from heaven down to earth, two-way traffic on the ladder, which means not only is God coming down, but he's inviting me to come up. Angels ascending, descending, God at the top of the ladder, Jesus is the ladder. Jacob couldn't sleep anymore. He walked up how awesome is this place how supernatural how dreadful is this place I thought I was just sleeping with my head on a rock but God showed up he's told me I have a destiny and because God has initiated a covenant with me God shall be my God I will give him the tenth of all of my increase I will serve him I've just been redefined by the presence of God but God wasn't through with him yet even as he goes to visit Laban as he finds his wife as he develops a relationship with God God says now it's time for a championship match it's one thing to play ball it's another thing to play in the playoffs and as Caitlin Clark could tell you, and it's another thing to play in the finals. You understand, Jacob had been in the game, and Jacob even made it to the playoffs. But on his way back from Laban to the land of his nativity, God said, this is for the trophy. This is for the championship. Get in the ring with me. I know you don't want to get in the ring with me because you know who gonna whip 
you, you know what's going to happen, but climb in the ring anyhow. You've got to fight even if it looks like a losing fight. You've got to fight even when you get hurt. You've got to fight even when you get wounded. Don't be afraid of the fight. It ain't your fight no how. It's not your battle. The battle is the law. Jacob climbs in the ring and begins to wrestle with God. He knew he couldn't whip him, but one thing I can do, I can hold on. I can't beat you, God. My arms are too short to box with you, but you ain't getting away from me until you bless me. I'm not letting you leave me until you change me. I'm not going to let go of you until you tell me why am I here? Why was I born? What's the future of my life? life I'm going to hold on I'm not going to let you go God realizes the nature of this struggle he had to make a mark on Jacob after this championship match Jacob you ain't going to never forget it because I'm knocking your hip bone out of joint you may have climbed in the ring walking but you're going to get out of the ring limping and you're going to limp for the rest of your life but Jacob you can win life's battle with a limp you can make it across the finish line with a limp you can win the championship with a limp because you've got to fight to the finish you understand the race is not to the swift it ain't how fast you run the fact is can you finish? Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. Jesus finished with something worse than a limp. Jesus was wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our pieces upon him. With his stripes we're healed. He crosses the finish line with holes in his head, holes in his hands, holes in his side, flesh ripped from his body, but I'm still a winner. Whatever it takes for God to get you across the finish line, let God carry you. Jacob, while holding on to God, got a name change. You can never win if you quit. And of course, if you quit, you cannot win. Jacob says, I'm not giving up. I'm not letting go. I just want you to bless me. I know that I have some struggles to overcome. I still got some issues, but I know you have a blessing for me. My family is torn apart because of my action. I'm the thief that stole my brother's birthright. Even my name says I'm a thief. Every time somebody calls me Jacob, that means I'm a supplanter. I'm a heel catcher. I'm a birthright stealer. I need another name. And while he's holding on to God, God changes his nature. God changes his direction. God changes his future and gives him another name. I don't want my people called by the name of Jacob. I want God in their name. You know, can't nobody name you like God. People come up with some strange names, some of which are unpronounceable. But one thing about it, whenever you come to God, he's going to give you a new name. After all, anybody that is born deserves to be named. And especially when you are born again. Being born again means I want a name that goes with my new identity. I want a name that reminds me of why God created me. I want a name that reminds me that I can't make it without God. I lean and depend upon God. And throughout our Judeo-Christian heritage, we find people's names who have meaning. Moses, because I drew him out of the Nile River. 
Isaiah Yahweh he is God. Joshua, he is a salvation. Jesus is a form of it. His name shall be called Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. I know you, Jacob. I've searched you. I know you. I know you're uprising and down sitting, but that doesn't stop you from being changed. The toughest job in your life is to change. And you can't change yourself. You can't save yourself. You can't even help yourself. It takes God to change your heart, to change your mind. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And when God renews your mind, he will demonstrate, he will evidence what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. God says, I know you're limping, Jacob, but you're not Jacob anymore. You used to be Jacob. Before you came to this altar, you were Jacob. Before you held on to God, you were Jacob. But look around you. Your name is now Israel. I've stirred up the royalty in you. I've stirred up the presence in you. I've renewed the power in you. You shall be called Israel. Because as a prince, you have power with God. Why don't you touch somebody and tell them you have power with God. You have an audience with God. You have influence with God. Because if you call him, God will answer. If you seek him, you will find him. If you knock on this door, he'll not only open the door, he'll even open the windows. Oh Lord, you search me and known me. You know my background. You know my failures. You know my defeats. My idiosyncrasies. You know my low points. My broken places. Search me, Lord. Oh, Lord. And whatever you find in me that needs to be changed, change my life. Change my mind. Change my heart. Oh, Lord. You know my down sittings and my uprising. You know my past, my lying down. You are acquainted with all my ways. There's not a word in my tongue. You don't know it before I speak it. You know me behind, before, hitherto, henceforth. That's too deep for me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It's high. I cannot attain into it. I remember years ago singing in Psalm 51, take not the spirit from me. But now I'm asking you, where can I go? from your spirit if I go up into the heights of the heaven your spirit is there if I go down into the depths of the sea your spirit is there if I make my bed in hell oh your spirit is there thank you Lord for being an omnipresent God, an omnipotent God, an omniscient God. You formed me in the womb. You created me in your likeness. You placed me in your purpose. I can't get away from you. You're so high, I can't go over you. So low, I can't go under you. So wide, I can't go around you. The old saint said, you must come in at the door. Jesus said, I am the door. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. I will 
give you answers. I will give you solutions. I will give you direction. I will give you rest. I heard the voice of Jesus saying, Oh, come unto me and rest. Come sinner. Come backslider. Come hypocrite. Come atheist. Come agnostic. Come unto me. Come as you are. Bring your brokenness. Bring your problems. Bring your addictions. Bring your pains. Bring your troubles. Whatever you are, just get to Jesus. If you can just get to Jesus, oh Lord, you may be like the woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. If I can just get to Jesus, I've learned the disciples can't do it. I've learned the priests can't do it. I've learned the bystanders can't do it. I got to press my way till I get to Jesus. I don't even have to talk to him. If I can just touch the hem of his garment, if I can just feel his healing virtue, if I can just behold his glory, if I can just feel his spirit, I want to touch him because I know if I touch him, he'll touch me back. If I bless him, he'll bless me back. If I reach out to him, he'll reach out to me. I need a touch from God. I need a blessing from the Lord. I need favor from God. I need your Holy Spirit. Oh, I need you to hold my hand. Oh, Lord. Oh, I need you to guide my footsteps. Yeah. Oh, I need you to bind up my broken heart. Even in the valley of the shadow of death, I need you, Lord, to renew my strength. Oh, Lord. The psalmist said, I can't get away from you. Everywhere I go, I find you. Can't shake you. And since I can't get rid of you, I just as well learn how to live with you. Live in you. Live for you. Oh, Lord. I want you to abide with me. I want you to fill me with your goodness, your mercy, and your love. I'm not running from you anymore. I'm running to you. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Oh, Lord. I said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and they are safe. Get in the name of Jesus. Power in his name. Healing in his name. Strength in his name. Deliverance in his name. Come on in here. Get in the name of Jesus. His name will cover you. His name will deliver you his name will save you his name will set you free I love the name Jesus his name soothes my sorrows his name binds my broken heart his name renews my strength his name casts the devil out his name drives demons away his name gives me power Jesus somebody run into his name Jesus come on in his name shake 
the name of fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid when the wicked even my enemies and my foes ambushed me came upon me to eat up my flesh they stumbled and fell the Lord is on my side I will not fear what man can do unto me for you have set me up upon a rock you have set me up to be blessed you have have set me up to be victorious you have set me up to inherit your favor touch somebody and say this is a setup touch somebody else and say this is a setup God has set you up to prosper he's planted you by the rivers of waters bring forth your fruit in your season your leaf shall not wither whatever you do shall prosper come on touch somebody again and say this is a setup, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because you are with me, your rod, your staff, they comfort me. Hallelujah! Thank you for setting me up, thank you for establishing me, thank you for making my feet like high feet thank you for letting my cup run over thank you for picking me up turning me around setting my feet on a higher ground say yes say yes this is a setup a setup for healing a setup for miracles a setup for restoration a setup hallelujah brother Earl this is a setup God will fight your battles God will open the windows of heaven pour you out blessing you don't have room to receive say yes say yes say yes come on help me give God some praise say yes this is the setup hallelujah 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 help me say hallelujah come on and lift your hands and help me bless God hallelujah glory hallelujah thank you for your mercy thank you for your grace thank you for joy thank you for peace of mind thank you for your spirit hallelujah hallelujah glory hallelujah come on and help me bless him come on and help me bless him hallelujah I wish I had somebody in here to help me holler. It's like rivers of living water in my belly. Somebody help me holler. help me bless him come on and help me bless him come on help me lift him up help me celebrate God thank you thank you Lord we love you Lord we praise you Lord we exalt your name together hallelujah 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 
Come on, give him the highest praise. Hallelujah. When your praise go up, you go up. When your praise go up, your head goes up. Your attitude is exalted. When you praise him, things go to looking up. When you praise him, blessings come down. If you want a blessing, if you need a blessing, send up some praise. Send Judah first. Send up thanksgiving. Send up thank you, Jesus. Send up glory to Jesus. Pray them out of your heart. Pray them. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises. Mm -hmm. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let us worship him today. Father, we love you. We thank you that you are a God that is inescapable. I know the fool said in his heart, there is no God. But even the fool was not fool enough to say, there is no pain. And when you send the right pain, even the fool will say, oh God. And I know you're striking a nerve today wars and rumors of wars nation against nation the prices of all per barrel is spiking because the world is on edge about what could become a third world war if you send the right pain even the fool will say oh god you're inescapable we can't get away from you even if we don't come to church we can't get away from you because you everywhere. You show up at Target. You show up at Walmart. You show up in our bedroom. We can't get away from you. Wherever I go, you are there. I just want to welcome your Holy Spirit. Come on and welcome the Holy Spirit. We welcome you. Holy Spirit, we celebrate you. Holy Spirit, fill our hearts saturate us with your presence let healing take place in the name of Jesus rebuke the hand of the enemy rebuke the hand of death restore us restore our health renew our minds we love you Jesus in Jesus name we pray amen amen oh yes the door is open. Something about the, nature. the kingdom is open. If you want to be a part of us. You can either come down or you can text join Mount A to 91999. Oh, but any way you bless me, Lord, I will be satisfied. Oh, how I yes, love Lord. The nature. Yes, Lord. You may be seated. Hallelujah. The door is still something open. about something. Something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name.
that God sends out has a purpose and a target. God never aims without hitting his target. My word never goes out and returns void. We have no doubt in our mind that the word of God today has reached its target, which means that you will never be the same again. Thank you for worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ with us today in spirit and in truth. May you continue to allow the power of God to saturate every aspect of your life. Let us pray. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name that you have given us the victory and made us more than conquerors through him that loved us. And we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen.